So tonight I was out for a walk around Manchester. I don't usually take my camera out and for some reason I did. We went to this place called Affleck's Palace, which is again somewhere we don't usually go and as we came out the building that's basically like across the road was on fire. Pretty badly on fire. And it got me thinking. Let's talk about that. So what it got me thinking about was this kind of exploitative sort of filmmaking and photography. If you've ever seen Nightcrawler, the Jake Gyllenhaal film from like 2014, that's about a guy who goes around exploiting these situations, fires, car wrecks, things like that, police chases, all that sort of stuff. He actively seeks out these things. He isn't helping. He isn't, he isn't doing anything productive, he's just getting into these scenes. That film's really good because it takes what he's doing to the sort of logical extreme and it, it shows the audience that this is kind of a bad thing. I'm only one episode into Netflix's new documentary, Shot at Night, which is about the real people that that film's based on. These people are called Stringers, I think, and they are the upper end of what I'm kind of talking about now. So back when I first started taking pictures, you'd maybe wander around, around town. Manchester has quite a bad homeless issue. Is that the right way to put it? I don't know. And what happens is a lot of like new photographers, I fell into this trap. They go around and they think, oh, these homeless people, they're there. If I take pictures of them, it's kind of gritty and it's, it's interesting. It, it's not. When I was doing it, I was trying to, I was giving a lot more money to them than I would normally if I was just walking past. That's how I rationalised it to myself. I didn't stay doing it for long, it made me feel really uncomfortable. And seeing this fire today, and because taking pictures and making films is my living now, I felt compelled, because I had my camera with me, I felt compelled to take some pictures and take some video. It felt really uncomfortable. I was pretty scared that there was going to be people injured inside. The, f you know, there were firefighters in there as well, and they could get hurt. And at that point, I would have felt awful for standing by and videoing it. Obviously, there was nothing else I could do. But you feel like a rubbernecker. And as I say, I'm only one episode into Shot at Night, the Netflix documentary. Um, but that had the same feel what happened today. That kind of TV is like you're instantly disgusted by it, but then you have to keep watching it. And that's what this fire was like today. Luckily, no one was, um, no one was seriously injured, I'm led to believe. It just really made me think about this exploitative kind of image making. I, I don't have any answers as to whether it should be done or it shouldn't be done, but one thing... One thing that I'd say you should ask yourself when you're in a position where you could potentially be exploiting someone or something for your own personal gain is ask yourself, am I making this situation better, worse, or doing nothing to it at all? And if you're not making it better, you probably shouldn't be doing it. There are people who go to war zones and go to disaster zones who take pictures there. And they take pictures there to inform people and to raise awareness of a cause, usually. And that is making the situation better. So think of it like that. And just be, just be mindful when you're taking pictures. That's, that's my two cents on it anyway. Uh, before I go, I'd just like to acknowledge the fact that between my last video coming out and this video coming out, I went over a thousand subscribers. And that's, that's huge for me. That really, really means a lot that people, people are interested in, in what I'm doing here. And 
yeah, I don't have the same kind of what's up like level of enthusiasm of some YouTubers, but this is this is me, and I don't want to portray anything different, and I'm really having fun with this. Uh, so, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. And if you like this video, hit the like button, you know the kind of stuff. And I'll, I'll see you next time.